और इस वक्त हमारे साथ हैं इंडी मीम जो कि आपके लिए ये पहला फिल्म फेस्टिवल लेकर आ रहे हैं ऑस्टिन में द साउथ एशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल एंड इट्स लुकिंग वेरी प्रॉमिसिंग पीपल आर लॉर ऑफ पीपल टॉकिंग अबाउट इट ऑल द मूवी लवर्स हियर इन टेक्सिस दे आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू बी देयर इन ऑस्टिन एंड राइट नाउ वी आर वेरी फॉर्चुनेट वी हैव वन ऑफ द बोर्ड मेंबर्स ऑफ इंडी मीम हर नेम इज अंजलि कॉल जुच्छी अंजलि जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टॉकिंग टू अस हाउ आर यू डूइंग टू नाइट I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Anjali ji has this experience of almost 17 years in the non-profit land conservation sector and having been the director of development at the Trust for Public Land. She's now an independent non-profit management and fund raising consultant. And but she has very recently joined not very recently but almost a year to Indie Meme and you started as a volunteer. How has been the journey so far? I I uh i got to know about indi meem uh, shortly after it uh, it was founded and had its first screening in fact i did go to the first screening uh, mm-hmm. and uh was very interested in, in the organization uh, mm-hmm. and basically indi meem focuses on bringing um independent cinema uh, socially conscious independent cinema from south asia so india pakistan bangladesh mm-hmm. afghanistan uh, sri lanka um for screening special screenings here in the US uh, mm-hmm. primarily in Austin and Dallas so we have had screenings in New York and um and San Francisco as well mm-hmm. um it has been a phenomenal journey uh, the film that um the organization has been able to bring um for the last couple of years has been incredible um uh, award winning films um that have had a social message attached to them mm-hmm. um that uh Uh, that that we've been able to create conversations around um, it has been really wonderful yes yeah, so i asked the same question to tripti were you the movie lover or just because it was uh, there was this great sense of uh, you know um satisfaction that you are bringing something meaningful to the society that pulled you towards the indie meme or such organization i, I think for me I, i i like movies but i'm not a huge movie goer uh, mm-hmm. for me it was the combination of very good quality cinema and the social message that the films um actually focused on mm-hmm. um that that really pulled me towards the organization and the the conversations that basically these movies generate for example there there was a um, film um that uh, indie meme screened last year uh, which was about um uh, child trafficking and uh-huh. um you know it generated a really really intense conversation following the film and you know it was an opportunity to learn more about just the issue broadly but also the impact of of child trafficking right here in texas um uh, mm-hmm. i honestly did not know it's, it's yeah. really amazing the 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 conversations that happen mm-hmm. following these screenings and that is what really attracts me towards the organization absolutely so um that reflects in the the choice of cinema you are showing even in the film festival tell us more about that absolutely so um just continuing on the theme of of you know presenting socially conscious cinema independent cinema um the film festival which is scheduled uh for this coming weekend mm-hmm. April 15th through the 17th uh has a, a fabulous selection um that that we are very very happy to present uh, we have an opening night film leari notes which is um it's been made by uh two filmmakers one from india and one from pakistan and it is about um a, it's a documentary about uh, a, a a rock star in pakistan who's teaching uh girls how to express themselves through music mm-hmm. and this is in one of the most volatile uh, districts uh in in karachi uh, so you know there's there's that theme of of freedom through music mm-hmm. uh, in the opening night film and in fact you mentioned Nagavali in your previous interview mm-hmm. she is then going to be part of the the after party for mm-hmm. the opening night um she's she's performing at the at the event um we also have uh films made by asian filmmakers here in in um, actually in Austin um there's a movie about Rasika Mathur who is a um uh, indian american uh, actress and comedian mm-hmm. um and it's called uh, truth teller um there's another movie uh the threshold uh which is about uh the relationship between a uh, you know an older married couple and an mm-hmm. indian couple um who are you know their their children have left home and they are you know alone 
just well they're with with each other but it's about their relationship and how that has evolved mm-hmm. over over time um there is a there are children's films um there's uh, Dhanak uh, which is uh, being screened on Saturday I believe and it's uh, it's a beautiful beautiful uh, film I've seen the uh, I have not seen any of the films I've seen previews of of the film mm-hmm. and the cinematography for Dhanak is just incredible well, so I am fortunate one that I have seen at least Dhanak and that we saw in just happened a uh, film festival in Dallas but right. uh, and it's a treat to watch it's the most endearing film i've ever seen it's a beautiful absolutely. film absolutely yeah. absolutely and i think what is in, important also to note that we have community partners that we um, that we have linked with most of the films that are screening at the film festival mm-hmm. um for example dhanak we have a community partner in shankarai foundation and mm-hmm. the magellan international school and south asian mom okay. Mm-hmm. Um so we we try and bring community organizations you know into the into the indie meme fold by mm-hmm. by partnering them on with them on films okay. um so that they can bring their community in you know to watch these films and have that conversation that we we want to encourage so uh, very inspiring yeah um yeah so i mean i mean there are other um and all the the listing is is on the website mm-hmm. uh, at uh, uh www.indimeme.com i n d i e m e m e.com/schedule um you can um uh, you can read about the film you can um uh, even watch trailers i believe we have some trailers also there so um i would encourage people in austin uh to definitely try and make it to at least one or two screenings over the weekend Yeah actually I I hear I want to mention you know all the listeners that please buy your tickets don't wait till the end because usually we wait till the end and the tickets get sold out am i correct Anjali ji Absolutely absolutely space is limited so we would we would encourage people to um, buy buy the tickets and um, we have all access passes available which will allow you to go to whatever screening you want and attend the film maker panel we have a film maker panel on, on Saturday um where you can actually ask questions to the filmmakers and and understand what their journey was as they as they made these films um mm-hmm. um there is a uh, meet the makers um uh, gathering on mm-hmm. Saturday where you can spend more time with the filmmakers so i would encourage people to buy passes or buy individual screening tickets they're both available on the website but um do it now don't wait till the end So are, are they um, that suppose you know towards the end people who decide uh, do they have any chance to get the tickets at the box office or everything has to be bought from the website uh, there will be tickets available at the box office uh, they will mostly be individual screenings okay. um, so if if there's one movie that somebody wants to come watch i would encourage them to just come to the theater you can still buy them online you can buy individual individual screening tickets online as well okay um, but if you if you can't uh, definitely come to the box office get your ticket and and watch the film excellent really looking forward to it and to all my listeners to mark the calendars for 15th of april till 17th of april and let me tell you all the movies they have only one show so if you miss it you know most of the films are such that sometimes they don't get theater you know because of the commercial norms so take this opportunity and enjoy the festival and and make the most of it Thank you so much Anjali ji for talking to us. It's a great pleasure talking to you and look forward to see you. Thank you Karishma. Appreciate the time. And good luck with the film festival.